Let's examine these two Pelican 400 fountain pens. I would say this upper one is from the 50s, this one is from the 60s. Uh, the typical Pelican design with a 14 karat gold nib. One specialty of Pelican pans is the way the clip is attached to this part of the barrel. Uh, normally you have a little nib up here. Oh, this is a little bit difficult to open. Let's try this one. Okay. This, you have a small ring and which, with which the uh, clip is attached and if you open the pen you can see it's this part which closes oh, which closes the nib there this part as you can see now it is opened let's try to put it back again uh, before I will put it back again let's compare it for example to a to a Mont Blanc clip as you can see this is constructed differently the this upper part screws in to the cap quite differently from the Pelican. And if you compare it, for example, to a Pelican 140, it looks just the same as a Mont Blanc, but they use a different way too. As you can see, it's a nearly the same construction as on on a on a Pelican 400 with this internal part which goes into the cap and you tight fasten oh I have to close this pen to, to be able to put the clip back onto the pen. This is this is the typical way the clip is attached to a Pelican fountain pen. As you can see with this on the 400 it is fastened with this ring. One different on the older pelicans, the emblem of the pelican is in is green, as you can see here, and on the cap ring it says pelican 400, and on this newer model with the white pelican it says only pelican in Germany this goes onto this pen and this goes onto this pen if you compare the nib the size of the nib you can see the nib of a hundred and forty is oh, smaller than the nib of a pelican 
400 uh, otherwise the size of the pen is not that different the, the cap of a 400 fits onto the and vice versa these have, have the same size now take a look at let's take a look let's examine the the, the nib I hope it works with this magnifying glass which I put in front of of the camera let's compare this oh it's a little bit dirty take that off this is the typical engraving of a pelican 400 now let's see I did the same with the Pelican 140, how the nib is attached to the body of the pen. I can't remember exactly which way I try it to turn the nib. Okay, wait a moment, this one. unscrews as you can see here this nib is screwed into the pen let's examine the other pen oh this one is slightly different it doesn't screw but the nib is attached to the body of, of the feet with this ring. Let's examine this from a from nearby. Can you this is the 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 ink feed of the newer one and here we have the ink feed of the older, older pen. Okay, they go, oh, they go right back into the pen. Oh. It was too much ink inside. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay. No, it. As you can see, uh, some some pelican pens have the feet which screws into the body. Others, which are only frictioned. Now let's see how this pen writes. This let's start with with the older one. This is the older one. Oh, the the ink went out of the pen when I put the this is the older one let's uh, let's it's still the older but this is without pressure and this is with pressure and now the newer a little bit newer one from probably from the from the 60s 
Let's shine this nib a little bit. And oh, the, the ink left when I put on the nib. Ah, yeah, this is this is great. As you can see, this is without pressure, and. The stroke widens fantastically. This is a real joy if a pen writes in this way. This is this is the Pelican 400, an older model. We compare it to a Pelican 140, and we have seen the way the clip is attached to the cap. Okay, so far on the Pelican 400. One of my favorite pens is the Pelican 140. The pen you see right here. I've got five different versions of the pen. They all look pretty much the same, but they are from different times. They were introduced in 1952 and the first ones, like this one on the left hand side, have a different cap ring. You can see it's slightly smaller and it only says uh, Pelican 140 and the new this one is of this is from the same time I hope the magnifying glass will help us and this newer model says Pelican 140 in Germany on these three pens. You can see the clip was changed just a little bit too. You can see the, the old style is a little bit wider and this part of the of the pen actually the nose of a of a the peak of a of a pelican this line is a little bit longer it ends on these newer pens right here and it goes down till here on the old style and you can see if you see the clip from the from the side that this part of the clip is a little bit longer than on this part is a little bit longer and one difference too is we keep these old pens on the left hand side I hope it goes over on the on the camera there the old style has a doesn't have the pelican emblem in the in the engraved into the cap in, into the upper upper part of the cap. Uh, one specialty term uh, is the oldest one have the name Pelikan and Wagner engraved into the barrel, but only only in this case. Uh, the engraving on the nib is different too. This is the oldest one. I hope this works. This this one only says Pelican. Later it was changed into a more elaborate engraving. I hope. Let me see. Let me control that on the camera. This is the typical engraving. 
on a on a pelican. If you compare it, this is the, the this is the, the the hundred and forty. They 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 had a bit little bit larger model of the same time. The four hundred, it's pr pretty much the same. Only it ends here, not as rounded as on the hundred and forty, and the clip is a little bit different. It's fastened in a little bit different way. Yeah, it's a shame. These uh, these pans were made only till 1965. Uh, if you think of similar things from the same times, like a Gibson Les Paul or or a Fender Stratocaster, they are still made in the same way. The actually the the Pelican 400 was later introduced, reintroduced by by Pelican. Uh, uh, this is this is the typical pen of the 50s. If you compare it to a to a Mont Blanc uh, or a Monte Rosa of the same time, the the simple Mont Blanc pens. All of these are 342s, and this is a Monte Rosa. You can see this different cap band is from. This is a 042 from from Monte Rosa, but made by Mont Blanc. This is nearly exactly the same pen. Actually, you can put the cap of a the, the cap of a Mont Blanc fits right onto a pelican. This is the typical pen of the of the fifties. Small and uh, nothing spectacular, but it works fantastic. We start with the first, with the oldest one, and one difference in is the way the the uh, nib is fastened to the barrel. We tried. I can't remember exactly. Let's take a, a little bit of paper here. I can't remember exactly. Let's see this. Okay, this. In this case, the nib screws into the pen. This is number one. This is this is the the the, the old style. We go to the next one from the from the early fifties. Two, you can see without the engraving over there, and we test the attachment of the of the nib and. This one is only held by by friction, as you can see. The, this is pretty easy to pull out if you compare this to a Mont Blanc pen. It's nearly impossible to to do this operation on a on a Mont Blanc pen. It, the the nib fits much tighter into into the body of the pen. Now, one of the newer newer type of pens. Let me try these. These I would say th these are from the from the 50s, and these are fr from the from the 60s. They work fantastic. The only thing is the the celluloid of the barrel. Uh, in this part, it takes on a little bit of the of of ink of the ink. Now let's try how this again. This nib is only friction fastened, very easy to adjust. And we try the next pan. 
Oh. This works a little bit harder, but as you can see, the feet and the nip exactly in the same way. Let me try the last one too. If this one is again all of the, it's 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 only the the earliest pen of the of the fifties with with the differently engraved nib that that has a screwed in nib and ink feed. As I as I said, all of all of these pens work fantastically. I I never came across a a pen with 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 any problems uh, in the mechanism. This is fantastic, and as you can see. works pretty good. And the nibs uh, as you can see the nib is flexible. Let's try the next pen. I don't know if it is. Ah, it's it's inked. Oh, not similar. It's it's, it's a similar nib, which reacts nicely to the pressure of writing. Let's try this one. No, but I I will. Dip it in. I, I didn't use. I don't know when I did use them, but you can see without pressure and with pressure, all of these nibs are fantastic. And by the way, all of them are 14 karat gold nibs. They they did make a, a, a little bit cheaper model. The hundred, as you can see, fantastic. All of them react beautifully to the to the pressure of writing. It's 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 uh, it's a pen that, that is in this quality is difficult to find these days. As you can see, this uh, this one. This one has a wider nip, but you can see how well it reacts to the pressure of writing. As you can see, these pens are small. They were they they they, they were not very expensive in that time. They are uh, something like 55 or 50 years old, work as if they were new. As you can see, the, the gilding has rubbed off a little bit, but as you can see, they changed it. For example, the gilding of the, the cap ring, they changed it to a better alloy as you can see, only these ones from the early 50 have discolored. The Pelican 140, this, this same pen, but with the barrel in green, not in this type of celluloid green, but in, in this uh, uh, unique color green is the Pelican 140. 20 and it was the pen for school and you can see the the pelican 400 is 
pretty similar. Let me see if the, I didn't try it, but as you can see, the cap of a Pelican 400 fits onto a, a onto a 140, and vice versa. It's it's pretty much the the same the same pen, just the little bit more expensive version of the 50s and they made were made at exactly the same time at the Pelican factory in Hanover in Germany. Yeah, what a pity that they that these 140s don't share a similar history like the Fender Stratocaster or Gibson Les Paul. They were designed fantastically, still work. You can't make a better pen than this one. Okay.